Hello friends, what's up? Welcome back in the world of Maths by Amie. In this learning concept video, we'll try to learn the best way possible to solve a question. The question is in front of you. Question is bracket root 1 plus bracket root 2 plus bracket root 3 plus bracket root 4 plus dot 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 till bracket root 24 is what? Where bracket x is defined as nearest integer. For example, bracket 3 is 3, bracket 4.3 is 4 and bracket 4.51 is 5 means this is not the greatest integer but the nearest integer if the decimal value is more than 0.5 convert it to the one more integer if decimal value is less than 0.5 convert it to the lower integer and if there is no decimal value then the integral value is the integral value i hope it is clear there are two methods of solving this the one method is we work on the square root of integral value 1 by 1 and find the nearest integral value and add all the things. I have created a chart for this. Analyze the chart and think is it the best way possible or not. The chart is in front of you. If 1 then square root of 1 is 1 integral value nearest is 1. For the 2 square root is 1.41 then it is 1. 3 then 1.73 then nearest is 2 because 1.7 is more than 1.5 nearest is 2 for the 2 that is 2 integral is 2 for the 5 it is 2.23 integral is 2 for the 6 is 2.4 the integral is 2 but this is not an easy method or the best way method because it's has lot of calculation so i say this is not the right method of solving this one though i am using excel sheet but i find this is a really tough method a bit lengthy and calculative so i ignored this method now check what is the best method. To learn the best method, we can say the 0.5, the decimal 0.5 is the deciding factor. If anything is above 0.5, the integral value would change. Anything is less than 0.5, integral value would change. So now work on the condition 0.5. Again for the 0.5, I have created a chart. Let's analyze the chart and get the one basic series. Now chart is in front of you, analyze the chart and understand the logic and the series. Since 0.5 is a deciding factor, so work on the 0.5, 1 is 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5 and so on. The square of these values is nothing but 0.25, 2.5, 6.25, 12.25, 20.25 and 30.25. How many integral less than 0.25 is 0, so no in nearest integral values. Now work on the 1.5, the square is 2.25 and there are two integer, 1 and 2 is less than 2.25 but greater than 0.25 which are nothing but 1 and 2. So square of 1 and square, so square root of 1 and square root of 2 would give integral as nothing but 1. I hope it is clear and there are how many numbers? Two numbers. For 2.5 all square is 6.25. Between 6.25 and 2.5 there are 4 numbers. And the numbers are nothing but 3, 4, 5, 6. The square root of any 4 should be nearest to value 2. I hope it is clear. So for root 5 is 2 point something nearest to 2. Root 6 is the 2.4 nearest to 2. For 3.5 square and 2.5 square that is nothing but 12.25 and 6.25. There are 6 values which are starting from 7 till 12 and the square root of this is the nearest to 3. So can I say we are getting a series if we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 as a nearest square root we have numbers are nothing but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 means just double. Check the chart and learn a concept. The concept is if your square root is nearest to 1 we have two numbers. If square root nearest is 2, we have four numbers. If square root is nearest to 3, we have six numbers. If there is a question and the question is big bracket root x is nothing but 13. Well, the big bracket represents the nearest integer, not the greatest integer. Then how many x are possible? If it is 13, then number of x are nothing but 26. Check the series. If 3, then 6. If 4, then 8. If 5, then 10. So our first concept is if big bracket root x is nothing but n where the big bracket represents the nearest integer not the greatest integer then the different values of x possible is nothing but 2 into n. I hope it is clear. Fine. So our first concept is if root x nearest is 3 then we have 6 values. If they ask 
which are those six values so we just need to work on three if nearest is three then we just work on three is square is nine and nine is nothing but a third value i'm again repeating what i am saying if they ask root x nearest is nothing but equal to seven then how many different x are possible then our answer is two into seven is nothing but 14 different x are possible if they ask which are those x we just work on 7 square which is nothing but 49 and 49 would be the seventh values in this series so if this one is seventh values we work on the six previous values that is first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh is the 49 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and 14 we are looking for the 14 values this is the seventh values and we are looking for the first values so we have to subtract 6 in this that is nothing but 43 so starting from 43 and we have to add 7 plus is nothing but 56 so the numbers are nothing but 43 to 56 I am again repeating myself for a better clarity if they ask a question root x is nothing but say 5 though we have chart for the 5 solve a question root x is nothing but 5 this bracket shows the nearest integer then how many different values of x are possible the different integral values of x is nothing but 10 there would be 10 values and if they ask which are those 10 values then how should we work we know the 5 is the root x the square of 5 is nothing but 25 and 25 is the fifth number 1 2 3 4 5 fifth number is nothing but 5 square so finding the different digit for the root x we just square the number which we want as a resultant so that is 5 is 25 and this should be fifth number if fifth number is 25 and we have to find the range then we just need to subtract 4 because we need 4 previous numbers that is 21 and we just add to 5 that is 30 so we have the numbers 21 from 30 in this range if we find the root and the nearest integer that would be nothing but 5 I hope it is clear so here we learn two concepts the concept number one is if we want integral 1 the nearest integer then we have two numbers if we want two then we have four numbers if we want three then we have six numbers and which are those we just square the three that is nine and this is nothing but the third numbers so less than two because we are working for the three so we need to subtract two and we need to add three that is seven to twelve these are the numbers now work on our question now we have to solve this question we need to work on the root 24 root 24 is 4 point something now it is 4 point something is near to 4 or near to 5 just for a random check work on a if it is 5 then we have to work on a 5.5 5.5 square is 30.25 so we have to go till 30 so 2 root 24 should be covered in a 5 i am again repeating why root 24 is in 5 because 5.5 5 square is 30 0.25 and we have to work till 30 but in this question we have to work till 24 so we have to remove few numbers so let's remove few numbers after 24 and work that is for the 0 is 0 for the 1 and 2 we have 2 numbers then 4 numbers then 6 number 8 numbers now we do not have 10 numbers we have only 4 numbers and we need to find the summation of all now we have to work on the summation so there are two integers whose square root is near to 1 means 1 comes 2 times so the summation for the 1 is nothing but equal to 2 into 1 which is nothing but 2 again there are 4 integers whose nearest square root is 2 so 2 comes 4 times then the summation is nothing but 8 so what we are doing 1 into 2 2 into 4 3 into 6 is nothing but 18 then 4 into 8 is nothing but 32 but 5 into only 4 because we have to work on this is nothing but 20 and we need to find the summation of all and our summation is 80 so answer for this question is nothing but 80 so we have learned two concepts if root x nearest is 4 then we have total 8 values 
and which are those add values to finding which are those eight values we just square four four square is 16 and 16 is nothing but the fourth number because we are working on a fourth square so there are four plus and three minus so starting from 13 till 20 we have these eight numbers for this question and for this series that is one into two two into three three into four four into five but five into four only because we are working till 24 I hope this concept is clear to you. If you have any doubt, feel free to ping me either on Facebook or on in this YouTube video thread. Thank you and happy learning.